So we're looking at another wireless active noise canceling headphones. This time the Treblab Z2. You're gonna get up to 35 hours battery life. These are also gonna work with Alexa, Google Assistant, Siri, and Bixby. These are also IPX4 sweat proof and water resistant. They've also got focused base. Charging time up to three hours. Also has Bluetooth 5.0, APTX, and 40 millimeter drivers. Now the range on these is about 33 feet. Nice little travel case here. Inside the case, you've got a little metal hook, micro USB charging cable, 3.5 millimeter audio cable. Wow, these are a lot lighter than I thought they would be. Sort of a leatherette headband there. Metal adjustable sliders. As you can see, nice fold flat design with these. The cushions are covered in a leatherette material. They're pretty soft. I don't feel like that's memory foam though, but still feels like pretty good thickness. As you can see, the ear cups on these, really nice and flexible ear cups. And these feel pretty durable as well. Not too much creaking noise either. On the right ear cup, you've got all the ear controls, play, pause, next track, volume up, volume down, and 3.5 millimeter audio jack. On the left ear cup, you've got your power on and off and your A and C button. Pretty nice and clean design on these. Okay, seems like it's pretty easy to connect here. Controls on here seem to work pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and test these out for a while. I'm also gonna give you a mic test just to give you an idea of what these sound like. This is a mic test for the Treblab Z2 wireless HD headphones. This should give you an idea of how these are gonna sound when using the built-in microphones. These are IPX4 water resistant and sweat proof up to 35 hours playtime. Qualcomm QCC chipset with APTX. 100 degree ear cup swivel with 40 millimeter drivers. Again, this is a mic test for the Treblab Z2 wireless HD headphones. After testing these for a while, I kind of noticed one thing. They sound okay when using the 3.5 millimeter audio cable, but I feel like they sound best when using Bluetooth connected to my cell phone. They've got decent bass, really nice clarity, or anything you need to hear details. These are really good for that. My ears did get a little warm, but not too bad considering they're still getting broke in and they're pretty lightweight and comfortable after wearing for a long period of time hardly any pressure on the ears or on top of my head plus these aren't too bad for gaming really even though these aren't specifically made for that i also didn't notice much lag when watching youtube videos or movies so that's always nice to see the noise canceling on these are going to block out some fan noise or some surrounding sounds could be a little bit stronger though in my opinion the sound does appear to be a little bit better and louder when the ANC is turned on, but it's not going to be a huge difference, which that seems to be pretty common with ANC headphones that I've tested. I also think the ear cubs could be a tad larger for my ears so that they go all the way around instead of sitting on top, but I know everyone's going to be a little bit different when it comes to that. Overall, I feel like these are pretty good quality, nice sound, and are more lightweight than some of the others I've tested. So if you're looking for more affordable ANC headphones, you might want to put these on your list. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.